Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hope you all are doing well. So in today's video, we'll discuss the best laptop for programming in 2023. All the links to the products are given in the description below. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. First, we have the MacBook Pro M2. The MacBook Pro Air stole the show at Apple's Worldwide Developer Conference in June with a sleek new design and Apple's second generation M2 system on chip debut. That's not surprising given that the MacBook Air is the world's best-selling laptop. But this more modest update for the 13-inch MacBook Pro went almost unnoticed. In fact, it received less than a minute during the opening WWDC keynote speech. Very few differences exist between the 13-inch MacBook Pro M1 and M2 models. That's not necessarily bad, given that the M2 edition is just as thin and light as its 2020 predecessor measuring 304 millimeters wide by 212 millimeters deep by 15.6 millimeters thick. The weight remains unchanged at 1.4 kilograms, which is not much heavier than the new MacBook Air's 1.24 kilograms. The 13.3 inch retina display remains unchanged with a resolution of 2560 by 1600 and a brightness of 500 nits, providing a bold, colorful image that works well for streaming video and entertainment. In addition, the Retina display supports both Adobe RGB and DCI-P3 color standards, which are required for professional level video and graphics work. As previously stated, the M2 chip has an 8-core CPU, similar to the M1, but its integrated GPU has been increased from 8 to 10 cores. The M2 also increases the maximum amount of integrated unified memory from 16GB to 24GB with a memory bandwidth of 100 gigabytes per second, which is 50% greater than the M1. As a result, Apple claims a 39% increase in performance over the M1 for gaming and image processing tasks. The MacBook Pro's fan-assisted cooling system also appears to give it an advantage over the M2 version of the MacBook Air, as it has been reported that the Air's passive cooling system sometimes forces it to throttle processor performance when under intense pressure to reduce heat output. Next, we have the Spectre X360. The HP Spectre X360 has long been among the best laptops on the market, particularly in the convertible 2-in-1 category. The excellent 14-inch model from last year has been rebranded as the Spectre X360 13.5, with the same screen size but a fresh new look. It's a little pricey, but it's even more appealing this time, thanks to improved performance and battery life. The competition has gotten tougher, but HP has managed to reclaim the top spot with its flagship. The Spectre X360 13.5 is available in various configurations, with the Core i5-1235U CPU, 8GB of RAM, and 512GB PCIe 4.0 SSD, and a WXGA IPS Touch Display starting at $1,200, a Core i7-1255U, 16GB of RAM, a 2TB SSD, and a 13.5-inch 3K2K OLED display will set you back $1,840. If you need the most RAM, a $1,780 configuration with a Core i7-1255U, 32GB of RAM, a 2TB SSD, and the WXGA display is available. HP Dramatic Gem Cut Design featured sharply angled edges and notches cut into the rear display and chassis corners on the Spectre X360 14. The 2-in-1's aesthetic was a lovely laptop that stood out from the crowd with its rose gold and copper accents. HP reduced the size of the Spectre X360 13.5 as it did with the Spectre X360 16 by rounding off, slimming the edges, and toning down the extravagance. The chassis notches are still functional, with the left housing the 3.5mm audio jack and the right housing a USB-C port for storing the charging cable. Coming up next, we have the Asus ROG Flow Z13. In terms of design and functionality, the Flow Z13 is similar to the Surface Pro. The device is a tablet with a kickstand and a folio-style detachable keyboard. Unlike the stealthy and reserved design of last year's ROG Flow X13 2-in-1 laptop, the Flow Z13 is flashy with a robust metal chassis replete with dramatically etched patterns and the company's branding. There is also a tiny glass window at the back 
that allows users to see inside the laptop. In fact, you can see a section of the motherboard with a slew of transistors illuminated by RGB LEDs. While it serves no purpose, it is sure to draw much attention. The device is not as thin as the Surface Pro series with a thickness of 12 millimeters. Furthermore, the Z13 weighs 1.2 kilograms, 1.5 kilograms with a keyboard cover. Having said that, the Z13 is loaded with high-end hardware and the device marks several firsts for the brand, which helps it stand out. The I.O. ports are on the left and right sides, with two exhaust vents on top. The device has a USB Type-C Thunderbolt 4 port on the left and the proprietary XG mobile connector on the right, which includes an additional USB Type-C port with support for display out and charging. While I appreciate that it is protected by a rubber cap, it is straightforward to lose. The power button with a built-in fingerprint scanner, a volume rocker, a USB Type-A 2.0 port, and a 3.5mm headphone and microphone combo jack are all on the right side. Overall, the device boasts a diverse set of connectors. That said, I wish the company would have furnished the Z13 with at least two USB Type-A ports or offered a USB 3.0 Type-A connector, as the 2.0 port is too slow for 2022 standards. Rest assured, if you buy the Flow Z13, there is a high chance that you will need a USB hub, especially since there is only one full-size USB port. Each side is also flanked by a small section of perforations for the stereo speakers. Next we have the Razer Blade Pro 17. The Razer Blade 17 2022 gaming laptop is a beast. It can be equipped with the world's fastest mobile GPU, the NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti, and the new 2022 edition also includes Intel's 12th generation processor. With such a combination, Razer can provide one of the fastest gaming performances in a gaming portable, even embarrassing desktop gaming rigs in comparison. The classic ink black razor design returns, as does the 17-inch panel, which provides a blockbuster experience for all your PC games. For a good reason, Razer has stuck with the same design for quite some time. The jet black anodized aluminum finish is professional, and the luminous green logo on the lid adds enough gaming personality to keep it from looking like a boring office laptop. However, while the black finish looks good right out of the box, it does get dirty after a while. My fingerprints are smudged all over the lid and chassis. A quick wipe with a cloth will quickly clean it up, but it's still an inconvenient faff of an issue that has plagued Razer laptops for several years. Many gaming laptops are criticized for their bulky designs, but not the Razer Blade 17 2022, which is only 19.9 millimeters thick for a 17 inch laptop. However, this does not translate to a lightweight design as the Razer Blade 17 weighs a whopping 2.75 kilograms. Because even 2 kilogram laptops are too heavy for frequent commutes, the Razer Blade 17 is so severe that it can only be used as a desktop replacement at home. However, that is the trade off you must make when purchasing a 17 inch gaming laptop with these specifications. Thunderbolt 4, USB A, Ethernet, and HDMI are all included in the port selection. Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2 provide additional connectivity. The keyboard has vibrant per-key chroma backlighting, highlighting this laptop's gaming credentials. It looks fantastic and can be customized using the simple Razer Synapse software, which is among the best in the industry. Lastly, we have the ThinkPad X1 Extreme Gen 3. The ThinkPad X1 Extreme Gen 3 is a ThinkPad at heart. It has the keyboard nub, discrete mouse buttons, and an all-black chassis with scattered red dots. However, this ThinkPad has a one-of-a-kind feature, an OLED screen. With this and its discrete GPU and the X1 Extreme Gen 3 moves away from the business laptop market that ThinkPads have traditionally dominated and into the crowded market for ultra-portable content creation machines. Among those competitors, the X1 Extreme has several significant flaws that prevent it from rising to the top of the heap. However, it retains the features that have made ThinkPads so famous across the board, implying a market for it. This model has two outstanding characteristics. The keyboard is the first. ThinkPad keyboards are usually excellent, and this one is no exception. The keys have a pleasant texture and a lot of travel without being too loud. 
The typing experience is more reminiscent of a mechanical keyboard than flatter laptop keys. On the top of the deck, there is a row of useful hotkeys. F9 brings up the notification center, F10 answer calls, and F11 ends calls, all of which are new to the X1 Extreme. One quick note about the keyboard. The function and control keys have been relocated from their usual locations on most keyboards. This is how the ThinkPad keyboards have always been laid out, and you can remap the keys via the BIOS or Lenovo's utility app if you prefer. The 15.6 inch 4K OLED panel is the second standout feature. It covers the entire sRGB spectrum, Adobe RGB spectrum, and the full P3 range. Basically, it overloaded the color meter. The panel is sharp and vibrant, with a high level of contrast. You can watch HDR enabled streaming content with Lenovo's Display Optimizer and switch between different color profiles. Another advantage is the build quality. The X1 Extreme, like most of its ThinkPad siblings, feels quite sturdy. There is no flex in the keyboard or lid, and Lenovo claims it has been tested for resistance to vibrations, shocks, extreme temperatures, humidity, and the like using 12 military grade certification methods and over 20 procedures. This is accomplished without sacrificing much portability. It's 0.74 inches thick, but at four pounds, it's lighter than many competitors, including the Dell XPS 15 and the MacBook Pro 16. The chassis is black with a nice texture. Red accents include the ThinkPad logo on the proper palm rest and the X1 logo on the top cover. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, then hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you loved it. Take a moment to hit the bell icon so you'll get notified of all our new latest uploads.